Imagine this, someone has just wronged you, deeply and personally. What is your first instinct, to retaliate or to love? It's an interesting question, isn't it? And it's one that brings us to a central teaching of Jesus that's often misunderstood or even overlooked, the concept of loving our enemies. Yes, you heard that right. Loving those who hurt us, who betray us, who frankly we'd rather not have anything to do with. It's a stark contrast to our natural human instinct to retaliate when we're wronged, to answer hurt with hurt. It's a difficult pill to swallow and it leaves us pondering. Why did Jesus want us to love our enemies? It's a question that's as relevant today as it was over 2000 years ago, and it's the question we'll be exploring in this video. To understand this, we need to delve into the teachings of Jesus himself. Consider the story of the Good Samaritan, a parable told by Jesus himself. It's a tale that resonates across time and culture, reminding us of the power of compassion and love. In the heart of this tale, we find a man traveling from Jerusalem to Jericho. Along the way he falls into the hands of robbers who leave him half dead by the roadside. A priest, then a Levite, pass by, both choosing to ignore the man's dire need. Then, along comes a Samaritan. Now it's vital to understand that in the context of this story, Samaritans and Jews were bitter enemies. They held deep-seated prejudices against each other, stemming from religious and cultural differences. Yet when the Samaritan sees the injured man, he does not see an enemy, he sees a fellow human being in need. Without hesitation the Samaritan tends to the man's wounds, using his own supplies of oil and wine. He then places the man on his own animal, brings him to an inn, and takes care of him. The following day he gives the innkeeper two denarii, a significant sum, and instructs him to look after the man, promising to repay any additional expenses upon his return. The parable ends with Jesus asking which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of robbers? The answer is clear the one who showed mercy. Jesus responds, go and do likewise. The lesson here isn't just about being a good neighbor, it's about showing love and mercy to everyone, regardless of who they are, where they come from, or what they believe. It's about looking past our differences and seeing the shared humanity in each of us. It's about realizing that we are all neighbors in this vast world of ours. In this story we see that Jesus teaches us to show kindness to all, even those who may be our enemies. But how does this ancient parable apply to us in the modern world? Well the teachings of Jesus particularly about loving our enemies are timeless. They are as relevant today as they were 2000 years ago. In the hustle and bustle of our fast-paced lives, it can be all too easy to lose sight of this fundamental principle. But in truth, these teachings have the power to transform our relationships, our communities, and even our world. Consider for example the conflicts that often arise in our workplaces, schools, or even homes. Misunderstandings can quickly escalate into hostility. Yet what if we chose love and understanding over retaliation? What if we decided to see the person behind the disagreement, to recognize their humanity, their worth, just as the Good Samaritan did? Or think about the larger conflicts we see in the world today, nations pitted against each other, communities divided by hatred and fear. What if leaders chose to love their enemies as Jesus taught? What if they sought to understand the needs and concerns of the other side, to find common ground, to work towards peace? In each of these scenarios, choosing love over retaliation doesn't mean condoning wrong actions. It means choosing to respond with compassion, understanding, and respect. In a world often divided by conflict and misunderstanding, choosing to love our enemies can be a powerful tool for reconciliation. So, why did Jesus want us to love our enemies? Well, it's a call to elevate our actions, to rise above our natural instincts of retaliation and hostility. We learned this through the parable of the Good Samaritan, a timeless reminder of showing compassion to those we might otherwise see as adversaries. In today's world, this teaching drives us towards empathy, understanding, and ultimately peace. By loving our enemies, we embody the mercy and compassion that Jesus taught us, fostering peace and understanding in a world that often needs it most.